Hello, my name is Harry Pyle, and I am here to talk to you today about the Bronxville Middle School tardy policy. The tardy policy in our school is very strict because being late by a couple minutes can result in lunch attention, visits to the office, or calls home to your parents. We believe this is something that's very strict for a problem that is very minuscule. Uh, hello, Mr. Lassane. My name is Harry Pyle. I'm here to interview you on the tardy policy in the school. Good afternoon. Hi. So I just have a couple questions I'll just ask. Mm -hmm. So why did the administration change the tardy policy from three strikes and you get a detention, or three late and you get a detention, to one late and you get a detention? Um, I, I think what was happening is we had a lot of kids, you know, coming in tardy. Um, and we kept seeing that number increase. So we had to tighten up our policy because we, we're trying to teach you guys, you know, good habits. Because having a, a, a bad habit like party or being late to places is really going to hurt you in the future. You know, it's going to hurt you uh, in life, or on your job, for your determination. It's going to hurt you in college. So it's good to develop good habits now. All right. Once you get into a good habit, you'll be fine. Okay. So, um, does the policy have any flexibility? Say, if it's bad weather. Yes, we have flexibility. Bad weather, um, um, on personal issues, uh, home emergencies, um, uh, illnesses. Yeah, there's a lot of flexibility there. Okay. And how many students do you think per week are affected by this policy? It depends, you know, it depends on the week. Um, we, we, we've seen an improvement in our tardiness. I mean, kids are now, you know, cracking down and really getting to school on time because no longer can they be excused for being late so much. And you don't want to teach tardiness, like, to say, it's okay to have to be late. It's okay, mom, I'm putting my third late. That doesn't make sense. You know, you're late, you're late. If you're late, you missed the train. If you're late, that plane took off. You know what I mean? It could have been an important meeting that you had to go to. It could have been an important family function you had to go to. And you, you're late. So you, you develop these late habits or these bad habits early. It's something that we know will affect you down the road. So what we're doing here with this policy is making it um, very useful in the sense that we're making the kids say, hey, you know, you got to take ownership and be responsible. You know, it's not up to mom and dad. You can't blame mom and dad. You're of age now. You're not in elementary school anymore. You're know, middle schoolers, about to become high schoolers, about to become college students. So now it's the time to develop those good habits. All right. Thank you. I think that's yeah. uh, all the questions I need for today. Thank you, Mr. Hussain. Thank you, Mr. Hussain. Furthermore, we believe there are two different ways in which this problem may be solved. We could change the tardy, the tardy policy to what we previously had and allow for three tardies to bring the, the punishment of detention rather than just one, like we have now. Another solution we will, that we believe will be effective and perhaps more practical is postponing the start of school. It is difficult for both teachers and students to arrive at school no later than 7.50. This early start results in stress and other negative effects while students and teachers panic to avoid being late. We, we believe school should start at the simple 15 to 20 minutes later. This would allow more breathing room for when, kids, for when it comes to getting to school and result in happier, healthier kids and more efficient students e e eager to learn.